Ah, you're there. <laughs> well, let me talk to you about the Mini then. So we made a video about two months ago that we were showing you the V3 of the Mini. Today we have the V4. Again, this is probably not a scooter we're gonna release, but a lot of you gave feedback in the comment section, so we thought that it would be interesting to show you the V4. This form format and the price is really interesting to us, so I wanted to show you the V4, what it looked like, and uh, maybe have even more feedback for the new Apollo Lite that we want to release in that category. What do we have? On this one, we have solid tires. So again, impossible to have flat. It's not the most comfortable, but maintenance wise, it's the bare minimum. And for this segment of the market, I think that's what they're looking for. So I'll do like any other scooter uh, rundown. I'll start from the back and we're gonna work our way up to the top. At the back, we have a footrest. The main difference with this one compared to the old one is that I put the brake switch in this. So when I brake, you can see the light is coming on. It's not only that, the regen is also kicking in. So if you press a little bit, well, the regen is going to kick in. So you're going to have a physical braking by pressing on the tire, obviously, but also the regen of the front motor is going to make you slow down even faster. So pretty interesting. Personally, this is on or off. It's like the regular brake switch you have in brake handles on like uh, the older model we had. So it's quite abrupt when you press on it a little bit. So not a big fan. Again, this is an emergency brake. We have the region brake with a dedicated throttle. If we continue, well, pretty simple. We have reflectors on the side. Uh, we have the grip tape, which look pretty good on this one. You know, Apollo is usually quite good to make grip tapes. We have the hook here. So when you fold it, you can lock it in place. This one is like the city. Again, I'm not the biggest fan of those ones just because it's pretty self and explanatory why I'm not a big fan. It's not the most aesthetically pleasing when you look at it. And also when you put your foot, you can feel it. So not ideal, but for this kind of scooter, it gets the job done, you know? After that, we move here to the folding mechanism. And this is where we have the biggest change. On the older model, you add a latch here and the whole front wheel was flipping. On this sample, I put the same as the Air and City 2022. If I was to make this scooter officially, I would change this for the new one that we have on the Pro as well, on a smaller format. But uh, overall, this is already way better. Uh, so this is the one you're all used to. And again, if I lock it, it's gonna go here. I can lift this like this, and then I can grab it and carry it, you know? So pretty lightweight. I think it's about three to four pounds lighter than the air, around 32 pounds, this one, I believe. So if I unfold it, the other thing you can see is the wire passing inside the stem. That's how we keep the clean look. You cannot see a single wire on this scooter except for the front motor. Again, if I was putting more time on it, I could have it pass in front the forks, but those are prototypes, you know? So we need to choose our battle here. You unfold it, there's a first lock to secure it in place, and then you can close the latch like this. And you can see how sharp it is. Ah, love the sound. The logo on the stem, nothing to explain there. The hook here, this one is pretty cool because it's a metal one. It's pretty solid and it's great because compared to the city, the city, it's really a small one, right? So if you want to put the bag, it's not the most secure location to put a bag. It's really just so when you fold the scooter, you can clip it on the deck. This one is big enough so you can put a bag there. So, you know, I can put a, a tote bag if I go do groceries. That's pretty cool. Again, I'm not the biggest fan because when you have the bag and you, you turn like this, well, the whole weight of the bag is like swirling around and that's not ideal, you know? Then we get to the handlebar. So this one, same as the old one, short handlebar, so really compact, you know? With this, I think you don't need to have them fold because it's so short, you know? It's about a feet and a half wide. And we have the regent throttle, dedicated throttle, that's great. Um, grip handles, I would change them. I'm not a biggest fan of those one. The other difference is about the display. On previous model, the film covering the display, this is a LED display. So if I turn it on, you can see it's pretty basic. It's what we have on the city and air, for example. It's a LED panel under it that's gonna like light up basically and show you uh, the data on the display. On the previous sample, the V3, it was not really opaque, the film going over the LED dashboard. So when it was powered off like this, you could see the LED panel under it and it, there was kind of a brownish taint to it, which was ugly and I'm not sure why it was like this. So this time we made sure that it's black, opaque and when it's off, well, it looked clean. It's like, looked like one piece. Again, I love this headset just because it's so easy to grab and, and it's actually comfortable grabbing it like this, you know, like I love it and the, the style as well, you know, that's quite unique, see handlebar like this and to see like a big display for such a small and cheap scooter, 
I, I think that's pretty cool. Lastly, we have the headlight in the front. Again, like all our scooters, we're trying to put it at the top of the handlebar because that's where you want it, you know? I see a lot of scooters that they still put it on the bottom, on the deck, and it's lighting up nothing. At least at the top, it's offering great visibility. So that's pretty much it for the outside appearance of the product. If we look inside, uh, there's a 36 volt 7.8 AH battery. So that's gonna give you the same range as the Air Base we were selling in 2021. This might seem a bit low, but again, on 8.5 inch tire, it offer more uh, torque and acceleration than on a 10 inch because the wheel being smaller, it can spin faster, you know? So to keep in mind. We also have a front motor, which it's quite interesting to only have traction on a scooter. That's the only one I made that is like this. And when region brake is your only way of braking, having a front motor makes it even a little bit more aggressive, you know, because it's really in the front and it's gonna stop you even more. So to resume all of this, solid tires, 32 pounds, around $600 if we were to sell it. Uh, folding mechanism, pretty good. We have a front minimalistic suspension, uh, region brake with a dedicated throttle. Uh, this is, again, the only brake. You have a front headlight, which is pretty good. A big display, which is clean. A nice way to carry it around. Uh, and lastly, it's app compatible like the rest of our scooter. So you have a lot of features on the app, which I consider it great. So you might wonder why we're talking about the scooter if we won't even release it. We want to hear your feedback because we're gonna come out with a similar model that's gonna look way better, obviously, but we want the weight uh, to be the same, some of the features to also be very similar and more than anything else, the form format, right? It needs to be small, easy to carry. Um, we need to put thousand in one containers, you know? Uh, so let us know in the comment what you think. If you like the solid tires or you would prefer a self-healing one, if the $600 is appealing to you or if you would pay a little bit more to gain all the features that you see on the Pro, for example, you know? Uh, if you like the display, maybe the shape, if you like the rear brake, like this, I don't know. You let us know in the comment and we're gonna make sure to incorporate your feedback into our next model. Thank you.